With a record breaking increase in the consumer prices, experts are worried about economic stagnation and high inflation. In April, inflation hit a 40 years of high rate of 7.4% in Germany and it was driven largely by higher energy costs. Though German economists says these problems are likely to go away soon. On the other hand, you might have noticed that in recent days there is a hiring spree and Indian IT companies are offering higher salaries during the job switch which makes it really difficult to choose whether to go to abroad sacrificing such a good earning here in india but the real question is the boom in it sector going to sustain for long term will there be any consequences of getting overwhelming raise in salaries in terms of work life balance and eventually considering all of this situation does it really make sense to move to germany in 2022 my name is harshad and i am going to elaborate my views on the same topic in this video and i hope by end of this video you will be able to decide whether to move to germany in 2022 or not let's compare india and germany on three major points first earning and spending in euro versus earning and spending in rupees if you see that 1 euro is more or less 8 to 25 rupees but few years back value proposition used to be very different which means spending 85 rupees in india versus spending 85 rupees or 1 euro in germany was different however these days it is not making as such difference because of the war situation economic crisis and inflation in both countries one cannot say that the food travel and living is cheaper in india as compared to germany obviously the cost of living in metro cities is getting expensive as increase in uh, fuel or commute prices increase in gas groceries oil and what not the only difference i feel is the ease and convenience of services as compared to germany like in india it is comparatively convenient to avail resources labor and services whereas in germany having a maid at home for cooking and regular cleaning is not that common or i would say it's a luxury so let's take an example imagine you have an offer from germany for like 70000 euros per annum which is approximately 3500 euros per month after taxes obviously and it is equivalent to 280000 rupees on the other hand imagine you have a job in india paying 24 lakh rupees per annum which is approximately 140000 rupees per month after taxes so let's take this hypothetical figures as a base for our discussion after tax salaries may vary depending on the tax regime based on my analysis on spending generally one spends 50% of their salary on essential expenses like rent food and other things be it in india or germany since it is a common case where people have home loans family maintenance kids education etc and with my experience of living in germany as well as in india i see that monthly expenses are a lot especially if someone lives in a metro city now taking 50% of salary expenditure into account and our considered hypothetical salary figures you spend 60 to 70000 rupees and save almost the same amount in india whereas you will be saving in between like 1400 to 1700 euros or 120000 to 140000 rupees more or less in germany well of course you might be saving more or maybe less these figures are extremely variable depending upon individual but i am just building a general and hypothetical use case here so from this hypothetical example we can see that being in germany you are saving around 80000 rupees extra maybe this amount is more or less in your case that you have to calculate actual question here is the additional saving amount that you get by being in germany is worth to leave your current job and move to a very different place far from your loved ones if you think the difference is quite noticeable then it might be worth as it is not just about money but also about quality of life which is my next topic definition of quality of life really vary person to person but according to me or in general quality of life is something like living peacefully breathing fresh air or less polluted air and most importantly surrounded within a good environment i would give plus 1 point to germany as quality of life and work life balance is far better here compared to india uh, in fact it's an obvious perk of living in a developed country is to get good support from government like unemployment benefits child support free education pension benefits and many more and that is the reason you pay so much of tax in a country like germany since i talked about tax i have realized that if you earn more than 15 lakhs in india you anyways paying almost 30% as per current income tax regime i am not 100% sure but i guess it's a 30% on the other hand here in germany it's around 40% 
if you are single and it will get reduced further if you are getting married or having family and so so my point is if you pay more tax here in germany but in return what you get is a variety of benefits like health insurance or unemployment benefits since we all saw what covid did with us and from now onwards a good healthcare system has become our primary need and hence i would really like to talk about germany's healthcare system everyone says german healthcare is the best in the world i agree to some extent but my experience with doctors and hospitals is a little different if you get sick here in germany there is always a struggle right from finding english speaking doctor finding appointment and finding your exact diagnosis for general sickness it is not a big problem but when you have some serious health issues then it's quite struggle till you find your appropriate diagnosis but when it comes to a situation where your diagnosis is done and you are supposed to undergo a surgery then the only challenge remain is finding an early appointment sometimes it is really stressful as it takes minimum 1 to 5 months to get an appointment obviously emergency cases are treated as priority but emergency here is something like when you are dying now if we talk about india's healthcare system the good part is we do not have such a long waiting times india has a very good and talented surgeons and even general physicians but the problem is the healthcare has become so much expensive in india and it is getting more and more expensive that not everyone can afford it the number of frauds and scams are getting increased and if you get sick then it is hard to figure out that your sickness really needs to spend that much amount of money even though if you have an insurance things will never go smooth as the healthcare survey tells us but in germany you will not face these problems at least i have never seen in my experience and the good part is you do not need to pay to doctor for your surgery or any other treatment it is taken care by your health insurance directly i am trying to put my thorough experience here so that you get deeper understanding of small small but real life problems here in germany as well as in india problems are everywhere but it depends on you which one you would like to deal with russia's war on ukraine as well as effects of covid pandemic on supply chain has changed the spending habits of germans The government had in March laid out the plans to reduce oil imports from Russia by June, and uh, they are also going to end the coal deliveries by autumn 2022. There is also a consensus that the current gas reserves would be enough to carry Germany through rest of the winter, as the government got aggressive on the renewable energy projects. Uh, it hopes that it will soon be able to end its dependence on Russian gas entirely. In general, it is turning out that Germany is no longer a way to suffer stagflation. but at the same time the country is also well prepared to come back but the point that i'm trying to establish here is that the economic crisis is all over the world and the cost of living is massively impacted i cannot praise germany as i used to do before now coming to last and an important point after a pandemic and again now after a war the air travel has become so expensive and unpredictable that one cannot rely on if you are a person who cannot afford cancelling your travel back to your home country then you need to give a thought during covid i personally realized that i cannot be there with my family when i needed them the most though i have friends here in germany but there have been a time when i wanted to be with my parents usually i have to come once in a year moreover i have to plan my holidays according to the european standards in order to make the most out of my vacation days try to explain few aspects of life in germany i hope that you yourself can take decision whether to move to germany in 2022 but if you ask my opinion i would say if you are earning well enough in india and you do not want to take the stress of uh, moving to a very different place and settling up everything that too in a such unpredictable and unstable economic situation then take a step back think twice opportunities keep coming but if you think that your quality of life is not as per your expectation in india and if you think that the problems or the concerns that i mentioned earlier is not a big deal for you then you may consider moving to germany i would also advise other ways of opting freelancing work at least for the tech people since companies are getting more and more digital and you might be aware of this remote working trends you can take a look at a remote jobs as well if you want to keep yourself updated with future opportunities in germany then subscribe to this channel you can also follow my instagram page germany jobs where i try to post some useful and informative content as well as job opportunities i hope you find some value in this video i'll see you in the next one meanwhile take care stay healthy and stay wealthy bye bye